Commission and the chairperson for our small business committee. And I'd like to welcome you to the fine city of East Chicago. I'd like to thank our sponsors, which is First Midwest Bank and Craig and Devault. Let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to recognize the ambassadors that did a great job at greeting you this um, afternoon and collecting your business cards. We appreciate you guys. Um, upcoming for May, our general membership luncheon will be at the Dynasty, uh, featuring Mayor uh, Joe Stahura from Whiting. June 20th will be our golf outing, our 22nd annual golf outing at Lost Marsh. July 11th, we'll have our BP luncheon. August 30th will be our Indiana Manufacturers Association luncheon, and Brian Burton um, will be speaking. And then also September 21st is our Crosstown Classic. We already have half the tickets sold, so if you're interested in attending, please see Monique um, so that you can get your ticket for um, Crosstown Classic. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Dave Ryan. Also want to point out, we have one of their sponsors, the Lake County Economic Alliance, with uh, Karen Lauerman and Don Kalabowski. Give them a hand, too, if you would. Please. They were very instrumental in bringing Hoist lift truck uh, to East Chicago. And uh, 300, 400 jobs, Karen? 600. 600? Oh my god, great. Welcome everybody, glad to have you here. It's supposed to snow tonight. Frank Rivera told me that uh, his game was, was gonna be a real cat stadium tonight, it was gonna be snowed out. The Cubs are still playing because they know it's not worth anything anyway. But, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the mayor's state of the city address today, and it's uh, it, you can always tell, mayor, it's election season. We see a lot of elect electors, electees, candidates. I'm not going to start to name them all because there are a lot in this room. Uh, you could raise your hand if you're running, but don't stand up and give your name. Raise your hand if you're running for office. I give my hand. Let's, uh, Mayor Anthony Copeland, former city Democratic chairman, former East Chicago fireman, and chief for 26 years, lifelong resident of East Chicago, and married to Carolyn West Copeland for how many years? 41. 41. I've missed that three years in a row. Old website. Steve, change that. Thank you, Mayor, for correcting me. Uh, is the current mayor of East Chicago since 2010 and still making things happen in East Chicago. During his term as mayor, East Chicago has experienced significant job growth as witnessed by the city lowering hoist lift truck manufacturing in the Flaska family from Illinois to East Chicago with plans to hire four to 500 employees. And Karen has now told me there ain't even 600 employees by 2022. That's a, that's a great project. Uh, give him a big hand for that. That, that is a big project. And not to mention the $5 billion expansion of the BP Whiting Refinery, which uh, adds significantly to the city's tax base. Coupled with new housing, new lakefront opportunities at the Marina and Ameristar Casino, and millions of dollars spent on infrastructure improvements while balancing the city's budget, the mayor and city council are laying the groundwork for the future growth of East Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm hand for Mayor Anthony Coleman. Let me start off by just saying uh, good afternoon to each and every one of you. Um, it is my honor to report on the state of East Chicago and how it serves the voters and taxpayers of this city. Before providing that report, I wish to thank each of you for sharing our accomplishments and our progress. I would like to give a special thanks uh, to the Lakeshore Chamber of Commerce and its staff and Dave Ryan, and they told me to say dilly dilly, I don't know what that means, <clears throat> uh, for dealing me a full house today. They dealt me a full house. I'm looking at the room, and it's truly packed. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, let me begin by sharing a little known personal fact. I am a fisherman. Uh, in some ways, it takes the same skills to be mayor. Fishermen are known uh, to tell some pretty big tales about some of their catches, which is similar to some mayors. In 2010, the fishing trip began with the city being $15 million in debt. Now in 2018, the trip ends with the city having a balanced budget and a $10 million surplus. While some people who fish sometimes brag about their accomplishments, real fishermen know that catches are the result of skill, knowledge, and patience. Today I am here to provide an accounting of my administration over the past year. These are not boastful claims, but instead are the results of dedicated work that is making East Chicago a better place to live and to invest in. A good team knows that you have to be prepared. We have an excellent staff, starting with my department heads. Would you please stand up? <laughs> Who are knowledgeable and willing to meet every challenge. We have dedicated employees who work in all type of conditions to make sure services are provided. City employees are like the hook or the net that is used to catch a fish. They are indispensable and they must be rewarded. I am once again announcing that all qualified full-time employees will receive a 3% raise and a $1,500 bonus in 2018. I am also proud to announce that minimum wage will now be $13 an hour in the city of East Chicago. We continue to outfit our city with new gear, from 50 new police cars, four new fire engines, 10 new public work trucks, and other tools and equipment necessary to keep our city safe and clean. The city will have completed a four-year plan to replace all of its engines and aerial units. The hiring of 17 new firefighters this year will ensure that we have trained professionals in place. We also changed our superior, uh, we have also changed to Superior Ambulance, which increased advanced life support services by 50% to our residents. Our police department has reduced the rate of serious crime over the past five years, and 2017 was no exception. Crime has gone down, 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 for six years in a row. I can assure you that my number one goal is to make East Chicago the safest community that it can be. Over the years as a fisherman, I have seen how our local environment has gone from being an industrial afterthought to an asset. And that includes my administration dedication to making the city a more attractive place. Our city is cleaner in part because we now have an army of part-time workers who are out seven days a week picking up litter and keeping our streets clean. In the past year, due to a grant from the U.S. Forestry Service, we have planted over 800 trees, and we will exceed that number in 2018. In 2017, we received word that we were awarded funding for East Chicago's first off-the-street bike path that will connect to the trail system in Hammond. While this may be our first, it definitely will not be our last. We're working on a $1.5 million trail along the Grand Calumet River through the Roxana Marsh, taking advantage of the South Shore's busiest station. Our lakefront has been reclaimed for public use and enjoyment, evident by the improvements and investment in Joyce Park and the marina, where a $3.1 million harbor walk project is being completed. When you fish, you have to navigate to get to the best locations. In the past year, we spent $8 million on street projects and alley resurfacing, making it easier to navigate our city. 
including the Alder Street Roundabout and work on Euclid Avenue, converting it to a three-lane roadway with attic bike paths and decorative crosswalks. If you drive past St. Catherine Hospital, you find new pavement, parking, and other amenities in 2017. In 2018, you will see work that will truly transform East Chicago. We will begin work on Indianapolis Boulevard, which will be a $14 million multi-year project that will reduce that to a three-lane uh, roadway with beautification efforts that will make it more functional and attractive. Another $4 million will be spent on beautifying and improving the intersections along Columbus Drive. $9 million will be uh, put on Guthrie that will transform not only the street, but the entire neighborhood, paving the way for a new $38 million, 208-unit senior living complex. Uh, investment in new infrastructure is like a fisherman who buys the right tackle to lure a prized fish. Two new community centers in East Chicago are nearing completion. Each facility will feature a gymnasium capable of hosting soccer, basketball, and volleyball, along with multi-purpose rooms, kitchenettes, indoor walking tracks. Total investment, $8 million. The iconic Block Stadium is undergoing a $4 million renovation. We're also making improvements to the Washington Park Greenhouse, the only facility of its type in Northwest Indiana. We have invested in City Hall improvements, continue to make our wastewater treatment plant even more effective and efficient. And if you have not been through the Indiana Harbor in the past year, then you have missed out on a true transformation of a neighborhood. Just one example of new development is the Fish Simmons Redevelopment Project located directly across from Unity Plaza, adding 19,000 square feet of new mixed residential and commercial space, estimated to bring $4 million in new construction. In 2017, almost $22 million in private new construction occurred, including work at St. Catherine Hospital and a new McDonald's. While 62 buildings were demolished, making way for new construction in 2018. The city, through its redevelopment department, invested $1.1 million in residential renovation in 2017, and we will continue that work in 2018. East Chicago has become Indiana's first municipality to offer businesses and residents access to a 17-mile fiber optic system that provides unbelievable opportunity for the future. And this year, you will see a concentrated effort to add new planters, hanging baskets, and other aesthetic improvements throughout East Chicago. In closing, let me address the lead issue that has drawn significant attention and coverage during the past year. Remediation, cleanup, and demolition continues in the West Calumet area so that the once hazardous area will soon become a site for new development. At this time, I would be remiss if I did not clarify the untruths um, due to a whopper of a fish story that was just not true. East Chicago's water supply is completely lead free and uses a state-of-the-art filtration system that provides our customer with the cleanest water in Northwest Indiana. In fact, we are the first community in Northwest Indiana to provide funding to replace more than 1,000 residential taps to assure that these connections are lead free as well. We are working to replace 7,000 water meters that not only transmit use information wirelessly, but also include special leak detection technology that will alert us to problems in our distribution system. Right here is where I pause and I simply say this. In 2018, 2018 will once again be a year of study success. Just like a true fisherman, we will demonstrate patience and the confidence that our efforts will continue to fill our nets full of hope and progress. Thank you very much and may God bless you and may God bless East Chicago.
Certainly. We've got about an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> Who has a burning question? Well, let me, let me start off, if I may. Uh, I like to fish. Yes. And I know that to fish, you have to have good bait. You said $1,500 bonus. Yes. 3% raises. Yes. $13 minimum wage. Yes. Pretty good bait, you say? Mm -hmm. you want to elaborate on that? Um, when I came in in 2010, the city was $15 million in debt. Uh, the workers was on furlough days. Police and fire took a 5% cut. Um, and uh, we made the tough decisions. Uh, we laid off. Uh, we trimmed everywhere that we could. And as things started getting better, uh, we start, started off at $500 bonuses. Then we went to 750 Then we went to 1000 Then now we've worked ourselves up to fifteen a hundred dollars in um twenty fifteen we gave the first three percent raise with a thousand dollar bonus um then last year again we gave fifteen hundred dollars this year um we were able to exceed that with uh uh three percent and fifteen hundred uh the city has been truly blessed um and but anyone in here tell you to whom much is given what well, much is expected ain't it yeah, I work them hard, y'all. That's all I can tell you. They earn their money. They earn their money. But, but the city is in a good financial position right now from where we started uh, in my inception. Well, I think you're being congratulated for that because without that leadership, you're in the same position you were 
10 years ago. Yes. You know, that's uh, kudos to you. Mm -hmm. um, okay. mm -hmm. I don't know if I mentioned that we snuck the mayor of Gary in here. Yes, here yes. <laughs> She's the yeah. first person I saw. She gave me love when we came in. Just want to recognize you. <laughs> So let's talk about something that hasn't been in the paper, uh, the Klein Avenue Bridge. Yes. Obviously it has. Uh, <laughs> where's Terry Pelley? Raise your hand, Terry. Who are okay. you? Don't say a word. <laughs> Stand up and tell this fine group who you are. Uh, my name is Terry Gulley, and I'm the general manager of operations for United Bridge Partners. Uh, we own the Klein Avenue Bridge. Mm. Good. Everybody see his face? <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, call Terry. Don't call the mayor, call Terry. T-E-R-R-Y. <laughs> um, how's the bridge going, Mayor? Uh, let me simply say the, the bridge is on schedule. Um, I tell people they were saying with the catastrophe that happened down in uh, Florida, people was telling me, uh, Mayor, you should say this, you should say that. First thing I did was just pray for the families uh, uh, and, and the friends uh, of, of those who lost their life that day. Uh, I, I tell people with certain industries, there's inherent risks that come. Um, every day, 2,000 planes go up in the sky every day. And every now and then, we have a crash. Then you have the, uh, the National uh, Transportation Safety Board. They go and they investigate and try to make sure these things never happen again. Uh, is that catastrophic? Is that devastating? Yes, it is. Uh, but we do not call for all the airlines to be shut down. We look, we, we go into uh, fact finding and, and, and we pray that it never happens again. And this is the same thing when you look all across this nation. Uh, uh, our bridges are in disrepair. And, and, and it's going to take new technologies, uh, better, faster, lighter materials to use. Will you have mistakes? Yes. But I think no one sets out to say, let me uh, injure somebody today. Let me call someone to lose their life. Uh, uh, I have great confidence uh, in the Fig Bridge um, um, uh, company. I've, they, they've done over 340 bridges. So we're talking about one, well, an accident. That's why they call it an accident. Unforeseen, something happened. Uh, I have seen uh, their bridges, they're beautiful. They're works of art. And I, I will tell everybody that this Klein Avenue Bridge will probably be one of the most scrutinized projects uh, uh, in the ensuing years. So again, uh, just for the families, uh, we give our prayers and, and our thoughts. Great, thank you. Questions? Come on. 300 people here. No questions. Rex, you have a question? Okay. North Harbor revitalization efforts. Um, if you haven't been to the North Harbor, you need to go. You need to see what the city has done, uh, what the mayor's team has done, the council, to improve that area. And you also mentioned a huge improvement to Guthrie Street. Yes. I want to elaborate on the commercial and the residential on what you have planned for Guthrie. <laughs> Uh, we had a group come in um, called Indiana Down, Downtown. They came in, they assessed uh, our city, just like previous administrations, from the Pastor administration to the Pabay administration. Uh, they also had experts come in. And when they looked across the city, they made ground zero. And it's ironic that each one of them made ground zero across three administrations, the same place. They say, start in the North Harbor. They say you're a lakefront community, start here. They say you get it right here, then in concentric circles, you can spread this throughout your city. So we have, uh, again, uh, uh, listened to the advice of the experts, and, and we have set our focus on the North Harbor. Uh, we have made, to date, maybe over $50 million of investment in that area. Uh, some of it is, is buffered by the $39 million ask that we got from the Regional Development Authority, uh, the RDA, and that money can only be used in the North Harbor. So sometimes people say, well, why are you only doing all these big projects in the North Harbor? I can give you 39 million reasons why, okay? <laughs> and, and, uh, but, but we've been very frugal uh, with that dollar. Uh, if you look, I would say in the past five years, we've quietly been doing acquisition of properties uh, so that we can do vast tracks uh, uh, of projects. I mean, literally transform whole blocks. 
And so we quietly did that. And, and now you see the fruits of, of, of our labor. Um, starting in what building? About another three weeks, we'll be starting with the uh, Fitzsimmons project. Uh, again, 19,000 square feet of uh, mixed residential and commercial use. Again, uh, you're going to see us just like um, um, like them kids when they had the little games. All, all y'all remember, they put the dots on the paper, and then you see the picture when you connect all the dots. It's going to be exactly just like that. Another dot, another dot, and then even those uh, uh, with serious doubt will begin to see transformation. Oh, that's what I am. You run back there. State your name, Kelly Nissan. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Mayor Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Of Arsenal Middle. Um, speaking of that part of the North Harbor, many, many years ago, I remember seeing artists' renderings of a pedestrian bridge that I believe was maybe Broadway, which stretched over Klein Avenue so that families could walk safely to Jeroz Park. Can you give us an update on where that is? Um, I can tell you that that bridge was uh, real close uh, to being started. Uh, it's probably one of the first projects I killed when I was mayor. Um, it was an $18 million bridge um, that they wanted to span from Broadway, go over the tracks, go over the highway, and then tie into the lakefront. Um, to me, that was putting the cart before the horse. Uh, my thinking was, Get the downtown area right, get the lakefront right, then I truly got a reason to connect the two. To where if I would have squandered the $18 million to put the bridge and I didn't have anything of substance, then it would have been a bridge to nowhere. So it was one of the projects that I killed to take that $8 million and leverage it across state, federal, uh, uh, and, 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 and our local funds to get a bang for our buck. Thank you. Question. Hey. Earlier, the state rep from House District 2. Y'all heard, uh, heard me say, I leveraged it across state dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Earl. <laughs> Got your back. Uh, question for you. Between Gary, between Hammond, between Whiting, we have a lot of great lakefront property here in Northwest Indiana. Tourism is a $12.2 billion industry in Indiana. It's 100, I want to say 186,000 jobs. As you look at what's going on outside of this building with I see this building, the water pad, uh, beach, and all the innovation. What's going to happen in terms of East Chicago to draw more tourism to the area? Um, I can tell you out of that um, $39 million ask, we have put $19 million of improvement in our lakefront. Um, let it be into our marina with new docks. Let it be on, in, in our beach area with other amenities where when people come, uh, shelters, uh, splash pad things, uh, picnic areas where, where uh, a family can come and just spend and have a, a truly uh, wonderful day at our beaches and our lakefront. Uh, one of the things that uh, um, Congressman Faskowski has done with uh, Marquette Greenway, he has emphasized that this is the diamond in the rough, this is the future, this will drive uh, uh, Northwest Indiana and make us a show place. So I, I will tell you that um, it's going to be a work in progress, a continued work in progress, but, but when you do connect Whiting, Gary, and East Chicago, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Mayor, just to follow up on Kelly's uh, question about the, the walkway. Uh, we've got $15 million transformation going on from Lakefront, permanent stage, new harbor walk, new public art, beachfront uh, amenities coming. You've redone the, uh, you have a big roundabout. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what, anything else? I mean, that's, that's a huge project going on right now. Um, the, I will tell you that, uh, Again, it, we're slowly trying to put the pieces together. Uh, we've concentrated on uh, the marina area. Uh, we reclaim 50% of that back for the people to where now you'll be able to go and do scuba diving, uh, snorkeling, you'll be able to uh, do kayaking. Uh, and then we, we, we cut the marina in half so that, that now, again, those who have enjoyed it uh, in the past can still enjoy it, but now the people can come out and, and enjoy our lakefront. So uh, I will simply tell you that uh, for years and years, the people felt that they were denied the lakefront. Uh, we have now reclaimed it for the people. 
I saw uh, Tom Carroll in the audience somewhere. Where is he? Tom? You got a little project going on in East Chicago. <coughs> Mayor, uh, tell us about the high fiber network that's going on on uh, Columbus Drive, Boulevard, Chicago. Uh, we just went into a partnership with Nickel. And um, we have put a, a, a redundant 17-mile fiber optic system in place uh, that has, uh, has paid dividends already. Uh, when we started, we, wanted, we didn't want to be big brother, but we wanted cameras and, and, and uh, strategic places throughout the city. Uh, we've been able, because of this uh, uh, fiber ring that we now have, we've been able to put 800 cameras across our city in our parks, in all our public places, in uh, major intersections, uh, that, that we can now monitor the ebb and flow of things that go in our city. Uh, this year, we will add additional 300 cameras. Again, it, it's not like we're big brothers sitting there just watching somebody and monitor, but uh, I'll give you a good example. Um, and this is probably why uh, crime has gone down six years in a row. Uh, right now, you fire a gun in the city of East Chicago, we have Shot Spotter. And um, it can tell us exactly where the shot was fired at. It sends a signal to the police cars, then the police can now come from different angles to come to where that shot was fired. Now we can train the cameras also into that area when we finish the last leg of this, where the cameras will be able to tilt pan and zoom to that area. And, and, and we look at all these as being tools. So, we would never been able to do that if we didn't have that fiber optic uh, array. Um, we look in that uh, we will be able to offer reduced rates with cable. That's our long-term goal uh, uh, to our citizens. Uh, so again, it's already paying dividends. Tom, I want to ask you a question. What does that mean to the residents and the commercial businesses in Chicago? Thank you, David. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, thank thank you, you. Staff, for doing such a wonderful job. My name is Tom Carroll. I'm with Northwestern Indiana Telephone Company, and we are the city's new partner to operate that 17-mile fiber network that was built um, by the mayor and his team. Uh, it goes through every single neighborhood in the city. And we're going to start with small business, existing small business, offering both voice and internet services and also television services. But we'll also be working with the city to help enhance economic development, to help Karen and the city and the mayor's team to actually bring more jobs to East Chicago. And we're also working with the director of IT, Kevin Klosik and his team, mm -hmm. to make sure that those residents also get the benefit of that 17-mile fiber network through Wi-Fi in local city parks and helping what we can do at the marina mm -hmm. to enhance the Wi-Fi that is there. So we're taking the city's asset we're expanding on it, and we're providing services that will be city-wide. So thank you, Mayor, and thank you. For mm, thank you. And, and you also jog my memory. Um, we've been also able to put Wi-Fi in our parks, Wi-Fi at Unity Plaza, and Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi out at our lakefront. So that's the dividends that, that we're getting back from this investment already. State your name, Don. <laughs> Don Kalabowski. Vice President of Lake County Economic Alliance. Mayor, I want to commend you because you are a patient person. Yeah. You started with a vision. Mm -hmm. you, and you identified a pathway to technology that enhances us being businesses to the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't see what goes on behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. You're a very busy person. Your administration, your staff are very busy people. Karen and I would like to commend you. Every time we have a business of any interest, your door is always open. Yes. Your staff is always readily available to meet with us. There are a lot of things that are going on that you're fully aware of when we brief you, but a lot of people don't see that effort. They, they wait until the ground's in the, 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 the shovel's in the ground. But Mayor, you and your staff are working hard. We commend you for, mm -hmm. for everything that you've done at this point. We look forward to working with you. And there's good news Thank to you. come. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and, and it's good that you said it's good news to come. Um, some, Sometimes you can't tell at all, but, 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 but if, if the stars line up and the project that we're working on now, right, Karen? Yes. If we get that, then I'm going to outcrow Tom McDermott, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm going to outcrow Tom McDermott. You're getting good fisherman. Yeah, yeah. What can I say? You're a hard worker. Okay. <laughs> so, thank you, Mayor. Thank okay. You. <laughs> Maybe we could have an update on voice from Karen. Karen Lowerman, uh, Lake County Economic Alliance. Uh, Place Love Truck continues to expand their operations in East Chicago, continue, continuing to work with the mayor and his team on hiring local residents. 
uh, through the Chicago Training Program. Uh, LCEA, which is the Lake County Economic Alliance, is also working on several other projects in addition to that in East Chicago. But more importantly, we've got 79 projects in the pipeline for all of Lake County, which if uh, the top 20 would come to fruition, would equate about a half a billion dollars of investment and over 8,500 full-time jobs for Lake County. So thank you, Mayor, again for your commitment. And uh, expect to hear more from the great city of East Chicago. Thank you, Dave. Thanks very much. Questions, I see a hand. How's your uh, electric and gas these days? Any questions from Dipsco? Uh, oh, of course we have a table on Dipsco here. <laughs> well, 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 Milton can tell you now, we're working on an audit of those services now, right, Milton? Milton, <laughs> you have any questions for Dipsco? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm serious, you have any questions for him? Uh, right here. Well, well like I said, as we speak, okay. we begin uh, to do an I audit know. to see if we can reduce the cost. Uh, <laughs> St. Catherine's Hospital, I saw a dead executive, and I'm on the board of St. Catherine's Hospital, and I'm continually amazed each time I go to the hospital, all the improvements they're making, one of which, and I know that was the thorn for a long time, was parking along, what is that street on the west side? Grand. Grand, yeah. Yes. And there were some stumbling blocks or whatever. Mm -hmm. Last time I was there, the street was full of cars. Yes. And if you go there today, the street is full of cars. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know what? You can see uh, St. Catherine is expanding and growing by leaps and bounds. Um, they've been with us forever, uh, probably coming up on 100 years. Uh, it's probably one of the best relationships I've had since I've been mayor. Uh, we, we saw the need to, to coexist in the same area. We made major investments put more parking uh, uh, along uh, that Grand uh, Boulevard. Now we're getting ready to make the improvements on AM so we can have additional parking. Um, and, and if they fill these next parking areas along uh, uh, Parish, when they feel that the only other place is going to go up, I keep telling them we got to go up. They got to put a parking garage, you know. Uh, but, but, but that's a good problem to have. It's a very good problem to have. Mayor, I'm Deborah Kruschek, and I just want to commend you on behalf of Leo Correa, the CEO of St. Catherine Hospital, mm -hmm. and the administration for the beautiful project that you did Thank you. in and around the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's truly a sight to see. Uh, we have a lot of accommodating parking now for our patients and our visitors and mm -hmm. our staff. The campus has opened up. It, it, it literally looks like the walls of the hospital have kind of come down because it opens up to this beautiful parkscape and the uh, refurbishment of the Black Stadium, which yes. we really look forward to. Congratulations on this beautiful project, and I invite all of you to take a drive by. It is absolutely lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Questions, arms? Eric? I see you on your back there, 6'9". <laughs> Mayor, I got two more questions, and then uh, We'll get out of here if nobody has any questions. Okay. Block Stadium. Mm -hmm. You get on that in your video, mm -hmm. and uh, that's truly a great little stadium. What's happening there? Um, it's a $4 million project that we're doing. We're stripping it all the way down. Um, we're putting all new seating, uh, painting. We're we, uh, uh, putting new side. We're we, we putting uh, new fencing. Uh, everything everything's brand new. Uh, we salvaged what we could. Uh, and, and then we married it with the new. Um, and again, one of the humbling uh, moments for me was when Kenny Lofton came home. Uh, he gave us some other ideas on how to enhance the park. And, and, and literally almost seen a tear in his eye when he saw uh, the major investment that, that we're making. Uh, because if you look at the Little Leagues field next to it, it has his name on it, Kenny Lofton. So we, 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 we are rehabbing all of that area, and then we're going to call him in, and we're going to have him cut that ribbon, and then you're going to see tears come out of his eyes because it's going to be a beautiful wow, thing. that's great. Great. great My last question has to do with your lead-off in your, your video, which was the fishing adventure. Okay. And uh, Fran the Wacky. You see, I put a pitch in there so they know I wasn't yeah. lying, right? Yeah, it's a big one, too. <laughs> Did you really catch that? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> right. 
Fran Nowacki invited me over one day to look at her greenhouse yes. last year mm -hmm. and said, I, you got to see this, what we're doing. I said, what are you doing in the greenhouse besides growing something green? And uh, she had a bunch of fish there. Can you elaborate on what that's all about? Um, let me see. I know my people must be spread it out because I don't see it. The new park director that we have, Myra, Myra, stand up, please. This new park director that we have, Myra Coastal. Um, All right. You want to say something about that? So the city has invested about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and we actually purchased an aquaponics system. So we are growing our own um, organic vegetables in the greenhouse, and the goal was to be able to provide residents with free organic vegetables so that we could eat a little more nutritious in East Chicago. And and but but I mean she's trying to be humble. Um, so there's about a thousand fish. So there's a large fish tank that houses a thousand fishes, and all the water and the waste from those fishes gets um, goes through a filtration system, and it leaves large beds, two large beds that um, they have about 500 gallons of water, and we grow lettuce, we grow greens, peppers, tomatoes, strawberries. Um, Jalapenos, cilantro, just keep on going. <laughs> Kale, keep on going. <laughs> keep on going. And, 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 and you talking about fruit going, can make a dollar holla. She told me that, and I didn't know this now, I didn't know this now. The fish water that comes out of it is probably some of the greatest fertilizer that you can have. And she said, Mary, it's going for $10 a gallon. I said, ching. <laughs> Then we just recently got, we got four major restaurants on board that's buying our produce. So, uh, so sky's the limit there. Um, again, uh, I don't know how, well, y'all know me, I'm, I'm frugal, I'm not tight. I don't know how long free gonna last, but it's gonna be at a reduced rate that they're gonna be able to get the produce, okay? <laughs> Mayor, great note to end on. I want to thank you, and the Lakeshore Chamber wants to thank you, as to your business community, mm -hmm. for a great state of the city address. Thank you very uh, much. For all the great things that are happening in East Chicago. Thank you. I want to thank Karen Karen and Don from LCEA. I want to thank uh, Creek Duval for sponsorship as well as for, uh, Bank First Midwest Bank, excuse me, and Monica Rubio, the board member, is staring at me right now. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next event. Mayor Joseph.